Hey guys, Mr. Burns here, and uh, I promised you I'd take you through a conf confidence interval equation uh, question, so uh, I'm going to do just that. So we got a question here from an old common, uh, 2010, and it says, Wilson's Electronics claims that their new uh, line of plasma televisions will last for 6,000 hours. 60,000 hours. A consumer research group decides to claim, test that claim, and they randomly select 50 televisions to test, and the data from the sample shows that the mean life of television is uh, 57,000 hours with a standard deviation of 1,200 hours, and you have 50 TVs. So it says, determine a 95% confidence interval for the mean life of television. Alrighty, so um, we got a few uh, numbers here. So what we have is my 50 televisions. That's my sample size. So we call the sample size n. Okay, so we have n is equal to 50. And then we have uh, my mean, or my mu. Okay. Um, that is equal to um, 57,000. Actually, that should be x bar. Because mu is for... Um, a population. We're just going to use x bar. X bar. That's for a sample. And then uh, my standard deviation, sx, is equal to 1,200 hours. Okay. So um, what we are going to do is we're going to calculate the confidence interval, a 95% confidence interval. So I got 95% ci. Recognize that this 95% that I write here, CI, is not a number. It's not something that we need to, uh, you, uh, you know, change around and multiply something. No, that's just 95% confidence. So what we get to the right-hand side is what we need. Okay? So we have a 95% confidence interval, and that's going to be equal to my X bar plus or minus 1.96 all over s of x divided by, or sorry, times f of x all over square root of n. Okay, so this is my 95% confidence interval. And what this plus or minus means, basically we do with the minus, we do with the plus. So what we end up having to do is um, we go x minus, we put this, sort of put this in brackets, s minus 1.96 times standard deviation all over the square root of n comma, x bar plus 1.96 s of x over square root of n. Um, so again, this is just a formula, something that you need to know, um, and re uh, recognize that the confidence interval is a range of numbers. It gives us, we're not sure where that mean is to, but we know it's between these two numbers, somewhere in between. So, we're confident that it's in between these. We're 95% confident, actually, that it's in between these two numbers. So what we need to do is we need to pick this stuff out of the equation, and we need to fill it in. Okay, so we have um, 57,000. This is my x bar. Minus 1.96 times 1,200 divided by the square root of uh, 50. Now recognize for confidence interval, you need to have a sample size greater than 30. If you don't, you cannot do it. Okay? And the larger your sample size, the more accurate uh, you know, your confidence interval, or the less margin of error, as they say. Okay? The mo, as we call it in class, right? Okay, so... Um, this is my confidence interval. Now I need to calculate that. So I'm not a, I'm not about to risk my mental math here today. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to calculate this. So important to recognize I do what's left, or sorry, what's right of this subtraction sign first. Good old bed mass. Okay. So my this here part, as we called it before, if you remember, this part right here, this is our mo, our margin of error. Okay, So we calculated the margin of error. 
which we just do anyway when we're doing conference interval. Okay, there's nothing more complicated than that. We do it anyway. So that's we call it 333. I'm going to round there. Okay, so I have um, five seven subtract three 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 comma five seven zero zero so fifty seven thousand. And recognize that this here is the same as this number, so I just basically add on the mo again. So recognize that the confidence interval is just the mean plus or minus the mo, and the mo comes from this. So if someone asks you what's the margin of error of this confidence interval, you calculate this part. Okay? So if someone asks this question, what is the mean of this particular situation? Or sorry, what is the mo of this particular situation? It's 333. That's the margin of error. Okay? Our mean varies by that much. Okay? That's our range. So we do this again. So we're going to have 5, um, 6, 6, 6. No way. Okay, I got something messed up here. I got to fix this. So that's... Uh, Three, three, like that. So that should be a comma. Okay, I'm getting kind of messy here. I gotta slow down a bit. And comma five, seven, three, three, three. So that's my confidence interval. So that's my confidence interval. And I just noticed a mistake, as per usual. Okay, you got a seven there. My mental math is a little off today. I'm kind of tired. So that's my confidence interval, okay? It goes from 56,667 uh, and 56,333. So that is where I'm confident where my mean number of hours lies between, okay? So um, I just calculated confidence interval. Now there's a B part to this question, and I want you to recognize first of all what this says. The company says that they're... Their line of projects will last for 60,000 hours. So that's important. The company says they will last for 60,000 hours. They did a test and said the mean was 57. So the second part of the question asked me, it says, um, will, does the conference interval support the claim of Wilson's Electronics? So let me just copy over. Oops. Let me just copy over. Oh, my God. Let me just copy over. My conference interval there. So uh, this thing right here. Let me copy that over. So I'm going to copy, bring it over, paste it down. So that's my conference interval there. Um, and remember, the claim was 60,000 hours. Now, 60,000 does not lie in this range. Okay. So the confidence interval does not support, okay? Does not support. And the reason being is because 60,000 is not in this range, okay? If they said that they thought it lasts 57,000, then we'd be in business. This would be, yes, it does support. But that, what their claim they're making is not supported by the data found by this company that did the research, okay? So keep that in mind that there are some conclusions we can draw from this confidence interval. All right, guys, I hope I cleared that up. Um, make sure you know that formula. It's important. I guarantee there's going to be a question on there. Happens every year. So make sure that you know how to do this stuff, okay? Easy marks right there, buddy. All right, thank you very much. Bye.